Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we try to see a one of the interesting and as well as exciting project. You see this one friends. So did you see this one? You can see it. This is the rotary encoder. Yes, your guess is right. So this is the rotary encoder. So we want to do a one of the project by using the rotary encoder. Before going on to, so I try to give a sum of an update. Next week and next video onwards, we try to do the experiment, application, project and use cases. So where we try to use what are the interfaces we have done into such kind of a project. It's very interesting and engaging. Please don't miss out. Now let us jump into this current project. So for this project, what are the resources that are required? The first one will be the rotary encoder. You see, this is the four, a seven segment display. So we are displaying the count on this one. I have taken the female to a male wire. From the most important one will be the Uno or three board counting or I am keeping the components on this device which is nothing but the male to male not least i am taking usb a to b for flashing and get the power from the laptop you can see all the resources i have used in the current project that is nothing but as a rotary encoder interface with the arduino uno board now let us see the connection wiring diagram so this is the Uno R3. On my left hand side, you can see the 5 volts on the ground. On my right hand side, digital pin 3, 4, 5, 6 I am using from the Uno R3. Here you can see the rotary encoder which is having ground, VCC, SW switch, DT and clock. Clock we are calling as A and DT we are calling as B. This is the 4, 7 segment display which is having the clock. DIO, VCC and the ground. Now let us complete the circuit diagram. Now let us first complete the rotary encoder. Then we complete the four seven segment display. Now from ground I am taking and I am handovering to the ground. From 5 volts I am giving on to the VCC. Now clock A we are going to give this one. Fourth one we are taking and hand over into the DT or B. So third one will be the A and fourth one will be the B. So whatever the connection. We have completed the Uno R3 and the rotary encoder part. And we are not using the SW switch from the rotary encoder. Now let us complete the four seven segmented display. So from here you can see the ground I am extending. Okay. From here, I am drawing to the ground. From VCC, you can see it. I am extending the VCC, which is nothing but the 5 volts. And from 5th, you can see it. I am going to give to the clock. From 6th, I am going to give to the digital input and output. So this is the a, a connection a diagram. Here is the Yono R3, 4, 7 segment display and rotary encoder, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the pins we are using. And fifth one we are using for the clock. I am writing here. Sixth one we are making as a DIO pin of the 4, 7 segment display. So this is the connection wiring diagram. If you have any doubts, please visit the connection wiring diagram before entering into the coding part. Now I have opened the Arduino 2.1. Now you can see it over here. TM1637. We have done a dedicated video. Please refer to that one. So we are defining the pins 3 and 4 for the rotary encoder. 5 and 6 for the display. And if you come in the setup function, we are initializing like an input. And we are making the brightness and display clear and baud rate. And we are reading the clock or output here. And we are storing into the last state and in the loop function we are reading again the value which it will be into the current and current versus last value if it doesn't matches again 
we are reading output b and that doesn't matches with the current we are incrementing the counter as we are decrementing and the same value the counter value we are displaying in the tm1637 the value we are displaying over the uart after this one the last state we are preserving with the current state and the loop will be continued now, now let me go verify and compile it now it is successfully compiled now i am flashing so you can see it is flashed and now let us open the serial monitor now you can uh, see it so it is incrementing now now you can see it now it is decrementing at zero it is stopping so this is the code hope you understood if not please come back again and the code we are giving in the github and provided the link in the uh, description section now let us see the live demo you can see it the 47 segment display and the rotary encoder Arduino Uno R3 which we have powered by using the laptop USB A to B. Now it is not showing anything. Now let me move and move to the clockwise direction. You can see the counter it has been shown 5. Now I am incrementing so you can see it on the screen. I am moving in the clockwise direction. So now the display is showing as a 45. Now let me bring back in anti clockwise direction you can see it over here it is becoming a zero below this you cannot again i am moving in the clockwise you can see it over here if you like this video and if you like this project please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and more for most interesting updates please subscribe to our channel thank you very much